Hi, it's Jim Clark here from The Apprentice Academy and we're down here to do an On Success video and these videos are all about inspiring young people by hearing the story of leaders out there that have done brilliant things in their careers. Uh, normally we're interviewing people in business but I wanted to spend a bit of time interviewing Ibu who is the manager of Arduk FC uh, and Ibu is a community leader and doing some fantastic stuff for kids here in Arduk which was just outside of Manchester City Centre. So, welcome to the interview, Ibu. Thank you, Ibu. Yeah. Um, do you want to just tell us a little bit about Arduk FC? My name is Ibu Jara, originally from the Gambia. Well, I started the football club in 2010, um, uh, mainly um, uh, to start a community football club in the area. Yeah. Because um, there was nothing in the area, something that the community lacked, and I thought, why not try and do something to help the kids in the local community? I think one of the things I find most inspiring is that it's the giving you time up. Because I think it's easy to be seen as someone who's really inspiring when you run a company, mm -hmm. you know, and all the great things you do, employing the people, but it's a different thing when you've got to do it in your own time, at night, in the week, at weekends, and that takes a lot of, a lot of commitment. And, mm -hmm. you know, what is your passion behind doing that? What I didn't have that I can help other people to, to progress in life. Um, uh, because we, we, we help them with other values. Yeah, so um, what, what, what sort of values? Because, I mean, football, you know, is what the club's about. Yeah. But, you know, I've been down here myself and I've seen what goes on. Yeah. They learn a lot more than football, don't they? So what sort of things do they get, do you think? Well, um, I was brought up with a saying um, that, if you have respect, you have everything. Yeah. Now, respect is one of the things that you need. In life, you will fail, or you are likely to fail. Um, if you don't show respect to your uh, manager, or to your kids, or other people that you work with um, in life, then you might not achieve so many things that you want. Now, you have to respect time, for instance, when you go to work. Yeah. Eight o'clock means eight o'clock. So coming to football, if we have training six o'clock, you have to respect that time. Now show respect to other people because it's a diverse culture. We're different in different ways, but we're equal at the same time. I know that this club can't function just with you Ibu, and, mm. the, and the young people. There's a lot of volunteers that get involved. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what they're doing. Well, the volunteers are another backbone of the football club. Now, if you look at the teams that we have, um, we need like welfare officers. Yeah. Um, we need like volunteers who are treasurers, secretaries. Um, uh, that's out of the football pitch. Now, other volunteers like the coaches and managers are very, very, very important because they give up their time to coach, they set up the pitch, they organize the kids, get them to train properly, and uh, prepare them to play matches weekends. Now, all that time, it's very, very valuable time of theirs yeah. that they're giving to, to, to the community. And uh, one thing that we need to highlight here is volunteers. They are not paid. What, what piece of advice would you give like, a young person that's out there starting out in their career, whatever it is, whether it's football, in business, in whatever they decide to do? Yeah. You need discipline, focus, hard work in whatever you're doing. Like say, they're playing football, but I've seen the discipline they're getting yeah. and the, the respect and the teacher communication and building confidence, you know, and you're really helping these young kids for life, not just, it's not just this. It's not just the game, so a big well done and like thanks. thanks. It's, it's a pleasure, um, uh, Jim. We thank the parents as well yeah. for their support and commitment because without the parents and the kids, um, there won't be a football club as well. Mm -hmm.